Okay. So Eminem releases an album, right? Where he says, Before I get banned, kicked off Twitter and TikTok. Because this for them, ticked off Peter. And then says a lot, a, a bunch of phony, controversial stuff that he doesn't actually believe in to keep up with the Slim Shady persona. And then he says all this controversial stuff. Oh, they're going to ban me everywhere. They're going to ban me everywhere. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm getting banned off Twitter and TikTok because they saw them TikTok bitter. He says all these things and then goes on stage and dances for the same establishment that he's been notoriously known to be against. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so perplexed. I <laughs> It's like a fever dream to me. The Eminem that inspired a whole generation of rebels, like people that were anti-establishment, like, you know, F the establishment, you know, F the government, you know, and, and all these things. Comes out and says, oh, you know, I'm in favor of a future where people are able to say whatever they want to say without fear of, you know, vitriol and censorship or and so on and so forth. And I believe that Kamala Harris is in favor of that same future. Please, um, humor me, Eminem or Paul Rosenberg or anyone in his camp that's watching this. Or Grip, I know Grip, I know you watch my videos. You send it to Eminem. When have you, where have you ever been banned? Show me, show me which social media platform you have been banned on for you to have the credential, the the credits, the the you know, for where have you been banned that f that gives you the right to say this these things? Please humor me. Where has Eminem been banned on? Nowhere. <laughs> I'm not, bro. Eminem has not been banned anywhere. So you why why are you coming out and saying that? Oh my God, like, I want a life or a, and I want an America where people are not being banned for what they say. Come on, come on. Why? Where have you been banned at? You've never been banned. Your bank accounts have never been frozen. No one has raided your house. No one has taken taken you away from your family. You never, well, you have in court. You've been in court a few times, but not for like the things you say in your songs right not for being so anti-establishment i mean especially these days maybe for the past 10 years you haven't you're right because you've been such a good boy and then you go on the song and, and you start you start rhyming you go in the studio and you start rhyming before i get banned kicked off twitter and tiktok because they're so damn ticked off peter you see, you see you see all these things but you know who's actually getting banned and kicked off Twitter and TikTok because they're so damn TikTok and bitter about their statements and opinions? The very man you just released the song with, with DJ Khaled. Yay! Kanye West. He's been banned and kicked off Twitter five times, ten times. I don't even know at this point. I lost count. Banned off Facebook. Bank accounts frozen. Lost deals and sponsors sponsorships with Adidas, Nike, and all these places. He's the one that has the right, the credential to come out and say, "I don't want a, an America where people are being banned for what they say," because he has said a lot of things that has gotten him banned from social media and anywhere and everywhere. And guess what? It's funny because. The masses are actually loving and accepting Kanye West more. It's 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 funny, right? It's crazy. So it's like Eminem, the famous, the famously anti-establishment persona, person, artist that was so anti-government, anti-establishment back then. He comes out and endorses the very establishment that he was against and i just have one question no not one question i have I have like two three questions for eminem his camp paul rosenberg whoever it is i just have a few questions which party was responsible 
for all the censorship. Which party was notorious for sending emails to uh, content moderators in Twitter and TikTok and YouTube to ban a, per a person for what they said? Was it the Democrats or the Republicans? And I'm not even saying this as a, an endorsement of Donald Trump or the Republicans. I am not voting for Donald Trump. I'm voting for no one. I think both of them are on the same side. Right? So if you think Donald Trump is the good guy, you think my Harris is the bad guy, you are being mentally graped. <laughs> you are being... I, I play chess every day. You are being used as a pawn. And not, not the kind of pawn that goes up there to turn to a queen. No. <laughs> You're the pawn that they put there as a sacrifice so that they can... That's what you are. That's what you are. You're being used and abused and refused. If that's what you think. If you think... Trump is a good guy and Kamala But I digress. Eminem. Wasn't it the Biden Harris administration that was responsible for all the censorship on Twitter? Right? They would send. I read the Twitter files, guys. I read everything. The Twitter files, I read them. Because I have a lot of time on my hands. Because I'm always in this bedroom. You know, y'all niggas see me in this bedroom all the time. I'm always here. I have time on my hands. I have time on my hands. I read the Twitter files. The Biden-Harris administration, the Democrats, were responsible for all the social media censorship. They would send emails to someone in Twitter and say, hey, I need you to take down this account because he said something about the cough cough, right? The vaccine misinformation. Call it vaccine misinformation. Call it the COVID misinformation and ban him, right? They send someone on YouTube, hey, I need to ban or, ban or, you know, remove this guy from the partnership program on YouTube because he said something that can be considered election misinformation or TikTok, same thing. So this, was it, I, I don't think it was the Trump administration that was responsible for all these guys. I don't, I don't. I don't. I, ha I have TikTok, okay? There's Ryan Dan and Ryan has a TikTok account. And, bro, I can't even post anything. I can't post anything there. Okay? The songs they copyrighted and they say that, oh, you're posting someone that we don't consider a good person on the platform or whatever. So, are you actually, are, are you, bro, I think, I mean, you have a lot of time on your hands too. You're either in the studio or in the house. And come on, we all know that you are very aware of what goes on socially and politically. You are very aware of the socio-political climates of this country. Eminem, you especially, I know this for sure. And I know that you know that all the censorship and everything is from the Democrats. It's from Kamala Harris herself. Because she was the vice president of the administration that was highly in favor of the censorship. But then that also begs the question, even if Eminem knows this, does he have the power to say no? Does he have the power to not go up there and endorse her? Does he have a handler that says, okay, I need you to do this. If not, that list that your name is on is going to be exposed and you're going to do this. Or if you don't do this, then we're going to put you in jail for something. Or if you don't do this, then this is going to happen. Oh, your daughter, your daughter just got pregnant. If you don't do this, then we're going to kill you and your daughter will be left without a father and her child will be left without a grandfather. Hey. 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 Don't come at me for saying that. I know for a fact that someone somewhere has said something like that. And that's why you go up there like a cock and go on. Stand. Yo, yo, what's up, Detroit? I need you to go out there and vote, please. Okay, yeah, everybody has to vote. I agree. But, like, for Kamala Harris, really? <laughs> not because she's a woman, not because of anything like that. Bro, even if it's a woman, there are no plenty of female candidates that I would vote for. That you actually did, unfortunately, on your album. Like, like Candace Owens. I would vote for Candace Owens for, for vice pre for, for president, absolutely. I think Candace would be an amazing female president. Who else? Oh, uh, I don't know. I can't think of many women right now.
Yeah. It's just embarrassing, man. I don't know why you would do this, Eminem. You've let us down. You've let the stance down. And it's not the first time you're doing this. The last time you did it against Donald Trump, you were like, I'm going to draw a line in the sand and anyone that is on Trump's side or whatever, whatever, you cut your fan base in half, you were still able to outsell everyone. Fine. But this time, this was not a freestyle that we can still be impressed by and say that, oh, you know what? Despite, you know, put his political views aside, I like the rhyme schemes, I like the, I like the, the bars, the punchlines, I like all these things. He didn't go and do a freestyle on stage. And honestly, if you if you did that, this would have been a totally different video, bro. I would have thrown all my Eminem shirts away if you did that. That would have been the most. <laughs> that would have been. That would have been. I don't even know what it would be, but I, if it's what it is, I'm not even gonna say it. Eminem, man. I don't even think you're growing up. I think you're reversing in age. And even if you were reversing in age, that would have been a good thing. Because you go back to the age where you were the young, vibrant guy with fire. <laughs> that everyone was inspired by. I have a lot of things I want to say, but I don't want to keep I don't want this video to be too long. I'm currently in the middle of some other things too. But what I'm gonna say is Will the real Slim Shady please stand up?